Get ready to go inside Google's cloud. The tech giant has 12 data centers around the world. They are the engines that make Google run, and they contain a lot of sensitive information about you. Now, for the first time, the company has invited cameras inside its top secret facility in North Carolina. Michelle Miller went along for this story that you'll only see here on CBS This Morning. With all the patrols, fences, barbed wire, and steel barriers designed to slice through cars, it would be easy to mistake this place for Fort Knox. Hello. But it's really a Google data center. Yes, ma'am. You have your ID on it. For many years, the company refused to admit these even existed. Even today, no visitor may enter without first signing a non disclosure agreement. Just saying that you're not going to take any unauthorized pictures or you're not going to talk about anything that you see. Inside, security is just as tight. The scans determine who has access something even many Google executives don't have. Every single person entering and leaving is tracked. If more than one person enters through the doors at once, alarm sound. Have you ever had a breach at this facility? No. Never? No. Uh, let's go in. Our yeah. tour guide is Google's senior vice president, Urs Holzle, known for his trademark red socks and one of the company's first employees. My, my first job title was search engine mechanic. Uh, and I picked that because everything was broken. Google was down, searches took five seconds. Now Hutzle is in charge of building and running all of Google's data centers. In the industry, you're known as the infrastructure czar. Mm -hmm. Flattered by that? Um, you know, we, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Our first stop, the networking room. It's like air traffic control. Every time a user asks Google for something, that request is first routed here and then directed to another computer on the server floor. How many servers are on this floor? So today we have 55,200. The sheer size and scale of the place is breathtaking. Employees must wear earplugs to protect their hearing from the constant whir of tens of thousands of machines. So each of these servers basically is like a PC, except somewhat more powerful. And when one of those servers goes down, we saw firsthand what it takes to repair or replace them. Okay. Finally, you can plug in that power. Right here. How about that? Recently, the industry came under fire for being energy hogs, consuming huge amounts of electricity to keep servers running in air-conditioned rooms. On our tour, Google was very eager to show us how they were reducing their carbon footprint here at the data centers. That's because the company is very protective of its green image, according to Wired Magazine's Stephen Levy. He has covered Google for years and also got a tour of the Lenore data center. The opening up of the data centers really comes from their feeling that they can't keep this to themselves. Google reduced a lot of its energy consumption by simply raising the temperature on the server floor from a chilly 68 degrees to a balmy 80. We're estimating that we saved over a billion dollars in the history of Google through these efficiency measures. At Lenore, Google says only 10 percent of the electricity is not used to power its servers. Another Google innovation? Replacing wasteful air conditioners with a water-based cooling system. But for all of the company's efforts to become energy efficient, a lot of their power still comes from non-renewable sources. The power here is coal. The power here comes from whatever the local utility uh, uh, provides. Which isn't clean energy. Which in, in North Carolina is, not, is about two-thirds coal, yes. We are currently at about 35 percent of renewable energy, and we're aiming to get eventually to 100 percent. Google says this is the only time they'll allow TV cameras inside their server floor. But in an effort to be more open, they say they will put up video and pictures of all their data centers on their website. It's amazing how all of this works and that it works at all. And the fact that they always do is really amazing. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, Lenore, North Carolina. It's interesting to see inside, but I wonder if it addresses some of the privacy concerns that people have about Google. Well, it's and interesting you said that because Michelle actually came out with a printout of your whole search history. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be looking at that later. Okay. <laughs>